To tackle football can be serious business, especially when it comes to head injuries. Even more light has been shed on the topic since the release of the new movie Concussion. Will Smith plays Dr. Bennett Omalu, who discovered CTE, which is an illness found in a number of professional athletes. Joining me to talk more about the subject of concussions, especially in young athletes, is pediatric specialist Dr. Eileen Shi. She's with Healthcare Partners Nevada. Let's start off with the basics. First of all, thank you, Dr. Shi. Uh, explain what happens when a concussion occurs, and is there a is there a severity difference? Can you have a more severe concussion than others? When a concussion occurs, usually what's happening is a traumatic brain injury, a form, some mild, some severe, and your brain's getting a direct or indirect blow. Um, there are severe cases where you may have more loss of consciousness mm -hmm. or amnesia, which is memory loss, or you can have something as as common as a headache or feeling a little bit dizzy or something just not feeling right. I've had three diagnosed concussions, and in one of them I was knocked out, I lost consciousness. If someone gets hit on the head and they lose consciousness, is that definitely a concussion? Uh, well, actually, t loss of consciousness is in less than 10% of all concussions. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, you don't even see that. But if somebody does lose, con loss of, lose consciousness, that's one of the signs that will prompt a little bit more imaging. So imaging and intervention, along with amnesia. Those are more signs, the signs that show some more severe form of concussion. So it's so important to look at young athletes and, and, and make sure if they suffer a head injury, it's diagnosed. What should parents be looking for in their children after they suffer a head injury for signs of concussion? I would Ask your, parents, your children, do you have any physical signs such as headaches, any kind of nausea, vomiting, if you feel very sensitive light, or even just cognitive, where things are just taking longer for you to process, to think about emotionally, such are you more irritable, and really drowsy and just needing to sleep or having a hard time sleeping. What about uh, pupils of the eyes? I, I often see doctors looking at the pupils, oh, they're dilated, that must mean something. Does it mean anything? It does. If there is an uneven pupil, that is a very late sign of a traumatic brain injury, and that is something you hope hopefully we never have to see. We hear about the older athletes, the ones who pass away and they do autopsies after their death and that's where they find the signs of, uh, of CTE. But can CTE, repeated concussions, affect younger athletes? CTE is chronic traumatic encephalopathy and we do know that there's been 18 year olds who are multi-sport athletes who've done uh, NF, uh, footballs and multi-sport um, athletes have had signs of CTE from their autopsy unfortunately. You're a pediatric specialist. Do you see a lot of children coming in with uh, head injuries, concussions? I do and most people come in thinking it's just a protocol. I'm just kind of, my coach said me, need to get it clear but I do think the truth is we do underestimate and under um, diagnose many of these and if you let your child go back to play before she is or he is asymptomatic at rest and also with exertion, then you may be prompting yourself, setting yourself up for a secondary um, trauma to the brain that might be yeah. too soon for you to That's handle. That's you need to really be careful. What's a typical sport you see concussions occurring in these days? Football is the number one, but yeah. you also see in boxing and soccer. And soccer other sometimes too? Soccer. Just the, the ball against the head sometimes? Ball and collisions mm -hmm. and falls. Very good. Dr. Eileen Shi. thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you for having that. me. Let's take a look at weather with Ted now. Paul, thank you very much. Some good information there. Uh, new Skycam.